Here we go. So super fast BPM, obviously. Fastest Ableton can go, in fact, in this resolution of beats. Um, but if we listen to it without the metronome, let's listen a tiny bit. And the listener, of course, won't be able to tell that this is 999. And the same example can be even shown in reverse, like extremely slow, but it might be a bit faster. Uh-oh. I hope we can solve, my computer can survive all of this. It's very alarming what it is. I'll show you some interesting things that came out just by being on 999. So it's building up and building up this entire project, just epic, right? like drums coming here and stuff. Um, but let me show you a few cool things. And obviously it doesn't sound like 999, but again, just to prove the point of resolution of uh, relativity, right? Um, so for example here, I'm using a contact library for a guitar and it, these are made patterns that you play the chords. You see, I have a MIDI clip here for chords. You play the chords and it gives you kind of different strumming and finger picking patterns. But because we're in 900, and it's supposed to synchronize to your project, and because I'm in 999, um, some interesting patterns would happen that I wouldn't be able to achieve if I wasn't in this, let's play it from here, if I wasn't in this BPM. So um, again, uh, you know, we might take it too obvious that we have to stay in that range of let's say 70 to 200, right? That's the, that's the wall, the unforgiven uh, border that you cannot pass. And all, I'm, all I'm suggesting is there's a lot to explore above those BPMs or even below those BPMs.